Today we're going to continue our series dealing with strollers that are worth buying secondhand with the mountain buggy Urban Jungle, though what we're talking about are only older pre-2015 versions before the model replaced its simple and easily repairable foot brake with a weakly built and problem-ridden handbrake, because until that update, the Urban Jungle was, for a long time, one of the hardiest strollers on the market. So let's have a look then, beginning by exploring the Urban Jungle's strengths, weaknesses, and which lifestyles it will be a good fit for, and then moving on to explain what we found is worth looking out for specifically when buying this model on the second-hand market. And starting off with some stats, the Urban Jungle clocks in at 11 kilos and folds down to 33 by 63 by 89 centimeters. It can take 25 kilos in the seat and 10 kilos in its underslung shopping basket. The Urban Jungle is a three-wheeler, one of, if not the, first terrain and jogging-oriented designs to have replaced its fixed wheel with a swivel wheel in order to add the maneuverability needed to make it comfortably usable as an everyday around town model. And what makes those early Urban Jungle so great then, is that they were still essentially built for off-road use, and as such, are incredibly sturdy, with great suspension built into the legs of the rear frame, and also, quite simple in overall design, meaning little that can go wrong that isn't immediately obvious how to fix for the common user. The Urban Jungle seat can be reclined fully, but doesn't have an adjustable leg rest, and is suspended directly from the handle arms, making it a good deal larger than models with reversible seats. As far as driving is concerned, as I mentioned, the swivel wheel is there to provide maneuverability at the expense of jogging capability, while terrain-wise, the fact that the rest of the model remains unchanged from its sports-oriented use makes the Urban Jungle a great hiking stroller, capable of going almost anywhere, though it's worth noting that its air-filled tires can of course puncture and need tube replacement on occasion. The model has an easy front frame located fold, and since there isn't a separate seat frame to contend with, the Urban Jungle is not particularly bulky in terms of taking up trunk space in comparison with other mid-sized strollers, especially if you remove the rear wheels. As far as whether a used Urban Jungle will make a good purchase for you, I would say that the most relevant negatives are the lack of a reversible seat and the fact that, like most three-wheelers, the Urban Jungle has a somewhat less accessible shopping basket versus similarly sized four-wheelers. While on the positive side, there's the model's huge seat, terrain capability that will allow you to go more or less anywhere you want, and a wonderful sturdiness and repairability, especially in comparison to the price. When it comes to assessing Urban Jungle models for secondhand purchase, the first thing to be aware of is that there was a long succession of updates leading up to that unforgivable shifting of the brake, in which Mountain Buggy slowly revamped the model based on its new urban definition, slowly implementing changes to the wheels, the rear axles, the front swivel mechanism, the textiles and canopy, and other things. Some of these changes were good, like using a nut as opposed to a locking washer in the front end, and some were less good, such as the shift to removable axles on the rear frame, which weakened the model by adding complexity. None of these other changes are deal killers in my opinion, but when hunting for a model, just be aware that there will be some variation in what you need to check on. And looking at the chassis then, one of the great things about the Urban Jungle is that all the mechanisms other than the front wheel housing are externally visible, meaning that you really only have to look for cracked plastic or looseness in areas that don't have screws you can tighten, of which there are very few. Key areas to check on are the handle adjustment mechanisms, that they function properly and are not too loose, the suspension springs, that they offer resistance and do not feel broken, and the brake bar, that it's not difficult to apply or release, though if it is, check for damage on the plastic here that presses against the brake bar. If there isn't any, then either lubrication or replacing the locking washers for the rear crossbar will fix the problem. If you have a model with removable axles, then you need to make sure that you can remove them. This is a way of testing if they're bent and also that they lock in place. When it comes to the front end, you need to check how loose the fork feels. If it's super loose, then you may need to consider whether you're willing to buy a second model for parts if necessary, as the older version with a locking washer instead of a nut is hard to repair. There are, however, most likely very few of this type around anymore, and all other looseness in the front end, as well as problems with a folding mechanism or swivel lock, can generally be dealt with using common tools, a little lubrication, and some elbow grease. You'll also want to check all of the wheels, and consider whether you need to replace tires, inner tubes, or ball bearings. And on top of this, you should also check that the harness is complete and whole, the canopy ribs are not broken, and that the textiles are free of mildew, stains, and tears. Sun fading is unfortunately quite common with the Urban Jungle, and is, for the most part, just something to accept with the low price tag in my opinion. 
Once you've acquired a good model, it's my recommendation to do the following maintenance before use. Go over the whole stroller top to bottom, tightening up every screw, then lubricate all the moving parts with a spray lubricant like WD-40, in particular the folding mechanisms, the brake bar as it enters the rear frame on either side, and the ball bearings. If you have a model with a front swivel wheel and swivel lock in good order, then you can just use a spray lubricant here as well. Otherwise, you'll want to disassemble the front housing, clean the components, and reassemble it while lubricating with a thicker grease. You should also pump all of the wheels and replace tires and tubes as needed. As far as how much you should pay for these older urban jungles, it shouldn't be much, and availability will be different in different parts of the world. Here in Norway, for example, I see them given away for free quite often, or sold for somewhere between 20 to 50 bucks, making the price really more about time as opposed to money, and meaning that if you're up for it, getting a hold of one or even two to mix and match the best components can be a great way to fix yourself up one heck of a sturdy stroller. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask you subscribe, as it helps us continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.